Welcome everyone to Juno So Just Commentary. So guys, we're going to react to a video. This request video is entitled Talking to Strangers. It is an anime, um, however it's an English anime. I will try my best to do a screen recording um, to see if I could get a Thai subtitle. If it's not included, I do apologize, okay? Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead and check out this video that was requested. Let's pretend you get on a bus and it's super crowded. Uh -huh. The only spot that's open is between two strangers. Uh -huh. So you sit down between two people you never met and everyone is fine. Everyone's keeping to themselves. No uh -huh. one's making eye contact. Contact, it's perfect. weird. Sure, your shoulders are touching, but that's just what happens. That's part of the bus going experience, you poor person. But then at the very next stop, aisle seat guy gets off. So now you and window seat guy are sitting right next to each other. Move. But since you're in the middle, you have to be the one to decide do you move or not? I honestly don't know what the right thing to do in that situation. Move. I'm conflicted. Because if you move, it would be silently telling the other person, Aww. hey, you're disgusting. I can't I know. stand having our shoulders touch any longer, and I'm glad to finally get away from you. Ugh. But on the other hand, if I was the window seat guy, I would want the middle seat guy to become the new aisle seat guy. I wouldn't see moving as rude. I would just want his gross, disgusting body as far away from me as what? possible. It's not rude, but on the other, other hand, oh maybe I'm overthinking everything, and most people don't even mind being this close to another human, and they aren't struggling socially, I don't know. Now imagine True. that same situation, but with urinals. If you're in the middle urinal, do you move halfway through to the other <laughs> urinal? Because I would. Are you supposed to talk to people when you're sitting two inches away from them? I always felt like I should say something, like, hey, did wow. you see the game last night? I didn't, I was too busy drawing cartoons. But I realized <laughs> that this is a two-way street. Wow. I'm worried about not talking to someone, but they're not talking to me either. Hmm. We both agreed that there's this unwritten contract between us that we're not even going to look at each other. It got me thinking about strangers and specifically how I treat them hmm. and how I can make money off of them. Hey, oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. For most of my life, I would go out of my way to avoid talking to people. I would stay in my lane, mind my own business, hmm. no eye contact. If That's everyone's using a urinal, I'd have to pee tomorrow. Yes, what? I'm lonely. But now that YouTube's the thing, I'm interacting with strangers more often than I've had to in my entire <laughs> life. So I've been thinking a lot about strangers. And first uh, of all, I think the word stranger is already an insulting label for someone just because you don't know their name. Hmm, oh, I don't know name. this person. They're a stranger. They're strange. <laughs> I'm the normal one. They're the freaks. Oh my people gosh. Murder people with an axe. <laughs> it's always the go-to profession of a stranger. Not axe really. Murderer. But the people you see throughout your day are all no humans people. with their own hopes and dreams. And yeah. some of them may hope to kill you, but you'll never know because you didn't ever take the time to get to know them. So I think that the people you see throughout your daily life aren't strangers. They're just normal They're potential people. friends. Aww. Except for the weird ones, obviously. Stay away from them. And yes, I'm telling you to judge people based on their appearance. They're the ones that chose to wear anime shirts in public, okay? So back to the bus scenario. Uh -huh. I'm sitting right next to this fellow human being so far, there's not a single reason why I should dislike this person, but mm -hmm. I don't know why, if you put him and me on a bus next to each other, I want him as far away from me as possible. Just stop touching my shoulder! So that was the <laughs> last time I took the bus. Oh Unfortunately, boy. that's not the only place you meet strangers. That's One true. time I was at Home Depot, and I was looking for jumper cables, and I couldn't find them anywhere. And I don't know if I'm the only human that's like this, but I will try everything in my power Before to not talk to a sales associate. <laughs> I guess because I know they get paid minimum wage, and their life sucks, and I just oh want to leave them alone and not make their job any harder than it has to be. That's but asking employees for, for help isn't even bothering them that much. In fact, I think it's part of their job. They like like when what's you the worst them. thing they're going to say? Ugh. You don't know where one specific item is? Everyone <laughs> else knows. Did you even look? They're in the <laughs> jumper cable aisle, idiot. Oh my. No Ooh. one's going to think that. So feeling desperate, I mustered up what little courage I had and swaggered up to someone wearing an orange vest and said, uh -huh. uh, Excuse me, do you know where the jumper cables are? I don't work here. Oh, you don't <laughs> work here? No. And then he walked away. <laughs> that and happens, that happens. Away, waddle, waddle. That happens. The very next day, bam, bam, bam. So I think the logical <laughs> thing to do in that situation would have been to find someone who does work there. Look for their uniform. But I left the store because Not I didn't want to run into that same guy again. What? But I also bought a hammer because I didn't want people to think that I stole something. <laughs> That's so. true. But... Oh yeah. And by the way, if you wear an <laughs> orange vest to Home Depot, just expect people to ask exactly. you Exactly. Same goes Duh. for people who wear red shirts at Target. 
You'd think I'd learn from my mistakes, but <laughs> no, I have a bunch more examples. When my huh. book came out, my publisher said that it was going to be carried at Barnes & Noble. And Ooh. I thought that was super duper cool and wanted Ooh. to see my book in the wild. Not to buy or anything, just to have a look at. So I took my friend Adam from Something Else YT, and we went to the local <laughs> Barnes & Noble and started our search. We looked in the humor section, wow. didn't Not find there. it. Then we checked the new release section, it Not wasn't there. there either. Then we looked at the best-selling section, then Not the religious there. section, but we couldn't no find the book anywhere. So either the publisher lied, or, or it's sold they out. already sold out. But just to be sure, I asked one of the workers, hey, do you guys have a book by... The odd one's out. <laughs> he kind of looks like this. And the worker typed something out on his computer and said, oh yeah, we got those in the back. We just haven't put them out yet. So then he went Why to not? the back room, brought out a copy and handed it to me saying, here you go, kid. And I thought, well, frick. I can't just hand it back to the guy and say, oh no, that's okay. I, I just want to see it. it. <laughs> I just wanted to have a look at it. Do you know how inconvenient that would be? So <laughs> the look, uh, only less awkward buy your own book. I could think of was to buy my own book. And you know what? I didn't get a couple cents back from this purchase, so it wouldn't have been a total loss. But Adam, being the more sensible one, said, Dude, this is ridiculous. You, you have to come clean. So then he went to the worker and said, So he actually uh, wrote this book. He just wanted to get a look at it, like, in the wild. And the worker said, Oh, Aww. that's so cool. Do you want to sign our copies? And then I thought, Well, hold on. You're not even going to ask me for my ID? How do you know I actually wrote this book and I'm not some guy trying to deface someone else's? And oh then boy. the guy gave me a whole stack of my books and I signed them all. Last story <laughs> before I go, I was in the hallway of a building and me and this potential friend crossed paths. He said, Why was he in the school? And I was going to respond with, Hello, and how's it going? But I combined the two and ended up saying, How? <laughs> and then I jumped out a window and fell to my death. I can't oh rationalize that behavior. Maybe I spend too much time on the computer and I'm not used to looking at real people's faces, wow. but I'm trying to change. Don't get me wrong, going to conventions and meeting fans has helped me <coughs> a lot with talking to people. Granted, wow, yeah. those conversations are usually one-sided and a real stranger won't already know who I am, but they've still helped me. Now, you might be expecting me to give you advice on overcoming social anxiety, but if you watch this video, you know I'm not the most qualified to give that advice, hmm. but I'll try my best. I know it's hard to feel confident and I'm still working on it, but you have Aww. to understand that we're all people and we yeah. all have things that we're struggling with. True. And in reality, we're not all watching or caring about every little thing that other people do. We're hmm. all too busy worrying about what Own other people selves. think about. No So boy. with enough practice and believing in yourself, you can show the world your true the color. The flat world. <laughs> I think you'll find that people are a lot nicer <laughs> the world is than flat. So if you're the middle seat guy on the bus and you have to decide whether or not to move, do whatever you want. No one cares. Just stop touching my shoulders. Oh hey, everyone. I know it's been a while. Thank you wow. for being patient with this video. That was a May great has one. been a really busy month because some of you might know that May is my birthday month Ooh, and I don't work wow. on my birthday month. Happy so belated birthday. If there's a lesson you should take away from this video is don't worry about being awkward because everyone hmm. is weird. And if anyone yes. makes you feel bad for being awkward, then hmm. not only is that person more weird than you, but they're also an a-hole. I have some events coming up very soon. I have VidCon and chess boxing. And then I'm also going on tour with a bunch of people that you might recognize like Jaden and Ross and Domix and Ego Raptor, just to, to name drop a couple people. So if any of these events look interesting, you can Ooh, buy some to tickets apologize. in the There's description a or person. through the event tab on my website. Ooh. And if you're yearning for more Odd Ones Out content, I just wanted to remind you all that I have a second wow. channel and either today or tomorrow, I'm going to be uploading a video where I answer some math questions. I Apologize. Please watch it. As always, thanks to everyone who worked on this video, yep. and a big, big thanks to you, dear viewer. That was a good one. <laughs> oh, I do not miss it. <laughs> Just joking, the vehicle isn't moving. Of course, thank you guys for requesting this one. Of course, don't forget, guys, please, if you like me to react to a video, especially from him, of course, leave a comment below. Don't forget, of course, please go ahead and support this channel. The link will be in the description below. I hope indeed that you guys enjoyed this reaction video as much as I enjoyed it. Surely, that is very true. Most of the information given in regards to meeting strangers in public, this is the same. I think in regards to the bus, you just have to be, you know, Put yourself in the person's shoes. You, you get on a bus next to someone, you could say hello. Um, you could, they could either tell you hello back or shame you or tell you they don't want to talk to you, that's fine. Um, but um, in regards to if someone, if the seat is available, what I would do, sorry, if I'm in the middle and then there's, and someone moves on the bus on the end, what I would do, I would not go all the way to the end. 
I would literally, I would, that's what I would do. I would move a bit so I would be half on the middle seat and half on the end seat so that the person next to me would not feel all that awkward. I think it works because when the person realized I did not go all the way to the end and I did not stay squeeze up to them, they would realize that I may be concerned about how they are feeling. So I would not go all the way to the end. I would put like half my body, half on the middle seat and half on the end seat. So I'll be in the middle and there's no... You can't go wrong with that so this is a good idea um, meeting people at a grocery store or where you need help i think it's your right to do that i just saw a chicken hawk take a chick there wow <laughs> oh my gosh okay guys in regards to a store if you need help go and get help get help and usually employees in store should have tags or the company should so you should not be ashamed don't leave the um, shop think to yourself you did not get what you want because you're free to ask ask that's your right and they're waiting they should be wa waiting to help you that's what they employed for yeah nonetheless thank you for your questions one i hope that you enjoyed of course don't forget please subscribe to juno sweet okay like the video and share the video let's try to reach 200,000 subscribers by my birthday june 17th thank you so very much bye guys